Alrighty, this is JD and we are back once again with Adam. This time I have you down for five laps here in the Ferrari 458 Italia. Does that all sound correct to you? Sounds correct. Perfect. Now just like in the last car that you just finished up driving the Audi there, the mirrors are still going to be set up for me and we still just want to focus on our driving and try and stay you know, two or three steps ahead of the car with our eyes, always just being proactive on our eyes. Other than that, passing procedures will remain the same. Just wait for those four-way flashers to come on from the cars ahead of us before we go by. And this car is gonna feel and handle quite a bit different. Uh, it's a little bit lighter. It's gonna feel a bit more responsive. You're going from the all-wheel drive car to just a rear-wheel drive car now. So you'll notice that this car is gonna turn in a bit quicker. It has a tighter steering box in it. So less steering angle in this car goes a long way as well. You'll notice it's very responsive there. And your throttle is a bit more responsive as well. You get a little bit more torque, a little bit more power. So as soon as you start to crack on the throttle, you're gonna get that responsiveness. As I was saying about the brakes, they're almost completely opposite in regards to the Audi. You have to use quite a bit of brake pressure to start nice and firm because it is a stiff, uh, stiff brake. And then as you're turning in, just like you were doing in the Audi, you just want a smooth release off the brake, just nice and easy. Were you using the paddle shifters in the Audi? I was. Perfect. It's the same concept here. However, the paddles don't move. But I honestly think they're easier to get a hold of because they're a bit bigger. There's nothing else back yeah. there to accidentally grab. But same concept, right is still up, left is still down. We're in that third to fifth gear range in this car and I'll still be calling out that upshift, downshift for us. But uh, that just about covers us. And do you have any questions for me before we head out? I do not. All right. If I could just have you turn the wheel left one full turn to straighten out our front tires. Right there is good. Down on the brake and right paddle upshift towards you. And then when you're all set, you can take us out. Just a little throttle to pull over the stop that the car is resting on. There we are. And then we'll just follow this out around to the left. There you go. And we'll just pull up to the line here on the ground and we'll stop behind the Mercedes. Check for the drift car. And then go ahead and pull next to the blue cones on the ground. And the racetrack is clear. Gentle on throttle and straight out over the black and blue line. We'll upshift and follow this around to the left. We'll go up one more gear and cut across the track to that green turning cone. We'll once again, leading us on to the straightaway. So just look to the end of the straight and then you can start squeezing that throttle as quickly as you would like. Shift and then ease off the brake release no more. Then roll on that throttle, start accelerating to the exit cone up top. Good. Same thing, nice and firm on the brake. And as you go to turn in, release off your brake and carry your momentum and roll back on throttle. Up over the hill, blind section on track, so keeping those eyes up and across. Use all the track and accelerate down. Good. A bit of break through here, we're gonna downshift and then ease off the brake, releasing, add a little bit of throttle, and then roll on throttle using all of the tracks. Squeeze, there you go. Upshift, let off, turn in, and then cut straight across. Carry your momentum to the apex on the inside. Add a little bit of throttle and then squeeze on that throttle. It's a full throttle, good. Stay right behind these guys. Yep, yep. We're gonna stay on the bottom because the drift car is behind us. So we're okay. gonna stay to the right and okay. unfortunately he didn't see that. And now go ahead and pass left, accelerate, go around them. Very good. Brake firm, turn in and ease off the brake. Add a little throttle and roll on throttle back to the right. Turning into apex, looking good. Use all the track down, accelerate, roll on that throttle. Bit of break, then downshift, eyes up and across the apex, and then look past uh, it. Late apex. Squeeze on throttle. Yep, you got it. Long right hand turn, late apex. Upshift, that off. Then squeeze back on straight. Brake straight and downshift, and release off the brake now. Add a little throttle, and then squeeze up to full throttle.
pressure right, with this car, release off, sorry, and sorry. then squeeze on throttle. You're good, no worries. Yes, we'll attack that brake next lap. Hard brake to start, hard. And then ease off the pressure, and then roll on throttle and pull the car back to the right. Carry a bit of momentum to apex, and then smooth on throttle down the racetrack. Keep accelerating, though. Brake to start, then downshift, then ease off. Release, add a little bit of throttle, and then squeeze throttle on exit, driving the car out of the turn. There you go. Upshift, let off, over the inside stripes, throttle across. Brake and downshift, release. Up to apex, add a little throttle, and squeeze. You're good, straighten around. Apex, no more. I'm back on the throttle. Guy in early, didn't I? Up top. There you go. That was good. Full throttle out. Same thing. Hard brake. And then as you turn in, release. No more. You got it. You got it. Back on throttle. You're good. Little brush brake. Release off. Turning in still. I missed the brake on this. Yeah, just a bit wide. No yeah, worries. Yeah, yeah. Keep on it. Downshift and release brake pressure. Turning into apex, add a little throttle and roll on and accelerate. You're good. Four. Upshift. Let off quick, then squeeze on throttle. Brake and downshift. Release your brake. Eyes up to the end of the straight. Squeeze up to full throttle. Straighten the wheel. Not the steering wheel, it's okay. Full throttle. Camera <laughs> left. Hard brake. As you turn in, ease off pressure. Release, no more. Back on throttle. Squeeze. There you go. Tiny brush brake. Left. Now left. There you go. Down the racetrack. You're good. And slower down. That was our five laps. We're going to duck back in through those yellow cones. What do we think of the Italian? <laughs> Awesome. And then it'll be a tight left back into the pits. You, you never fear for your life. <laughs> <laughs> Not with you, I didn't. And then straight in. A couple people eventually, you know, sometimes make you a little uncomfortable, but nah, it's good. It's good. Just keep following this all the way back up to the very first row. We had a good time? Perfect. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Up to the very front. Quite a bit different compared to the Audi, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Way, I mean, I'm glad I did that, but it was a better experience. Yes, you agree. Know, yeah, it's just, good to get comfortable with the track and kind of find your even just audibly, you know. Uh huh. We'll let them pass. Yep, they weren't yep. paying attention, <laughs> and then straight in, and then park to the right of that red 488 here, right here on the right. There you go. Crank it right and straight in. We'll stop there. Crank it over. Um, I'm gonna have you go back just a foot, just okay. a little bit, because when you let off the brake, the car's gonna roll. There it goes. Cool. And now just pull back for neutral, and then you can leave the car straight. It's not gonna move anywhere now that we're on the stop. But very well, definitely uh, quicker and quicker with each lap. You can tell as we got you know more comfortable with the car, we were just building on our pace and really no huge complaints. Any questions for me in regards to the car, the track, uh, anything like that? <laughs> I mean, it's just it's I guess it's surprising how how, uh, how a lot of it goes against instinct well not only that but I mean how much is involved I mean I know it sounds crazy oh, yeah but you know what I'm saying it's yeah a there, there's a lot going on I mean there's there's a lot of information that you're taking in a lot of information that you're getting from me as well I mean even as us drivers I mean it's not only physically draining but it's mentally draining sure too, because lap after lap you do have to so focused and so yep. involved in what you're doing and what's going around you but uh no, it was good it was good definitely wow. i mean you took all that information and you ran with it yeah. you know you were able to improve on that instead of you know freezing up with all the information so no it was good we had a good time though we had a great time <laughs> all right hey, cool. man, really yeah. hope you hey, enjoyed man. it my pleasure i'll